Who says you need a gym membership to get in shape? Try this workout circuit with these common household items. Do one, two, or three full rounds of these moves with little rest in between three to four days a week for best results. Try this bent over row move to strengthen your back and core muscles. Grab a gallon jug for the perfect dumbbell substitute. Start standing with your feet hip width apart, knees slightly bent, holding the jug in your right hand. Hinge forward from your hips, keeping your spine straight and your abs tight, and reach both arms out in front of you towards the floor. Bend your right elbow and pull the jug up to the right side of your body, keeping your left arm reaching forward as you row. Hold for one count and then lower. Do 15 repetitions in a row and then switch arms. Don't have a gallon jug handy? Most filled laundry detergent bottles are the perfect substitute. Use your detergent for this side lunge and reach move. Stand with your feet together, holding onto the bottle with both hands. Take a wide step out to the side with your right leg, bending your knee and reaching the bottle down towards your right foot. Push off the right leg and return to standing with your feet together as you reach the bottle over your head. Repeat to the left. Do 15 repetitions in a row, changing sides each time. Do you have an ottoman or a couch in your living room? These furniture pieces are perfect for incline push-ups and dips. Try a set of 10 to 15 push-ups with your hands on the edge of your couch or the ottoman. The incline makes it easier than doing them on the floor. After your push-ups, turn away from the edge and do a set of 10 to 15 tricep dips next. The cushions make this move easier on the wrists. One of my favorite pieces of equipment to use are paper plates, and they work well on most surfaces, including carpet and tile. Place the paper plates under the balls of your feet and get into the top of a push-up position. Bend one knee into your chest, sliding your foot along the floor with the plate, and then slide it back to start and repeat on the other side. Do this as quickly as you can, alternating legs for 30 to 60 seconds. Be sure to keep your feet pressed into the plates at all times to avoid slipping. Maximize the use of your laundry basket with this sumo squat pickup. Fill your basket with toys, blankets, or books to a weight that feels right for you, and then stand with your feet wider than hip width apart, knees and toes slightly turned out, holding onto the basket. Bend your knees and lower your hips to the floor, keeping your chest lifted and your back straight and your knees behind your toes. And then stand all the way up and pull the basket up towards your chest. Repeat 15 times in a row, and if it feels too easy, add more weight to your basket. And you can forget all those expensive abs gadgets you see on TV. One of the best abs props you can use is a small pillow. Grab a pillow and lie on the floor with your knees bent, feet flat, and the pillow under the arch of your lower back. Clasp your hands behind your head and do a crunch, lifting your head and shoulders off the floor. The pillow adds a little more extension to your back, which means your abs have to work harder to lift your body a little higher up than if you do this basic crunch on a flat surface. Try up to 15 repetitions in a row. You can also target the lower region of your abdominal wall by doing leg extensions exercises like this one. Lie on your back with the pillow under your tailbone and your arms by your sides pressing into the floor. Extend your legs up to the ceiling as straight as you can, and then slowly take a deep breath in and lower your legs towards the floor, only going as low as you can without arching your back. As you exhale, lift your legs back up to the ceiling, draw your belly button in tighter to your spine as you lift. Try up to 15 repetitions in a row.